That's your first alert traffic. All right, thank you, Karen. Investigators are still looking into how an armed man got into the country's largest veterans' home in California, held three women hostage, and ultimately killed them before turning the gun on himself. And now News 3 is checking in on Wisconsin's veterans' homes to see how prepared they are should a similar situation take place. Harley Lynch joins us with what the Secretary of, De of the Department of Veterans Affairs had to say today. Yeah, Leah? we asked, is there a protocol for how to respond to an active shooter at any of the three veterans' homes here in Wisconsin? Well, the Department of Veterans Affairs says there is, but how fully Wisconsin's homes have practiced it is unclear. Family members are mourning the loss of their loved ones after a standoff at the Yountville, California Veterans' Home. She is missed terribly. Jennifer Golick was one of those lost, killed by 32-year-old Albert Wong inside that home. I woke up yesterday morning crying in my sleep, and when I got up, I was still crying, and I'm still crying inside. That's what our plans are there for. 2,000 miles away in Wisconsin, three other veterans' homes were on lockdown due to that threat, too, answering some questions for Veterans Affairs Secretary Dan Zimmerman. Do we have the right plans in place? And are we able to execute those plans on a moment's notice? And it worked great on Friday. Zimmerman says all three of Wisconsin's veterans' homes have their own active shooter plans in place. Very, very robust, very multi-layered. But he wouldn't give us specifics on each, except to say that all of them vary with the specific types of threat each region might face. You have to take into account the facility that you have and how it's set up, how big it is, its location in the state, and what other items or what other entities might be around it. Zimmerman couldn't say when these plans were put in place, but he did say they are rehearsed about three times a year. Last November, the home at Union Grove conducted a tabletop exercise, though it was not a full execution of that plan. We're always updating. You know, we're always looking at different things and always talk, uh, talking to local law enforcement to see if we need to modify. So if something like the deadly case in California happens... We didn't just wait to be told to do something. The plans are very proactive. Wisconsin can avoid a similar tragedy. I feel very confident that we've got a good setup, and it was proven on Friday. Now, it's clear there have been tabletop practices, basically a meeting to discuss the plan. But the Department of Veterans Affairs can't confirm whether at least two of Wisconsin's three veterans' homes have had operation-based exercises. That means a full-blown rehearsal of an active shooter training. Leah Lynch, joining us tonight. Leah, thank you. You're Thanks, welcome. Leah. President